Meanwhile, across the bay, scores of immigrants became U.S. citizens today. KPI X5's Jessica Flores was at the swearing-in ceremony in Alameda. We are on the flight deck of the USS Hornet. Now, typically this is a museum, but today it's the site of a naturalization ceremony where 76 citizenship candidates from around the world, 31 countries today, become U.S. citizens. With an oath so and a pledge. A pledge. Raul Serta today becomes one of the newest U.S. citizens. His journey to this moment started 26 years ago when he came to the U.S. from Mexico, and it comes during a crisis at the border. His 10 year old daughter, Kayla, says she worried what would happen to her dad. A lot of Mexicans um, immigrated here and they're happy with their families, but a lot of them are getting separated, and it does scare me. That's why I'm applied to be a citizen, to be all with my family together. Though many here sympathize with immigrants illegally crossing into the U.S., others want them to go through the legal process. We, we have no border to cross. We gotta go through immigration and all the paperwork, ticket and interview. For the Serta family, their immigration story doesn't end here. Raul's wife, Monica, has been in the U.S. since she was eight and is still hoping someday to be a U.S. citizen. Like, this is what I know. If I was to go back there, it would be, I would be lost. But today, she celebrates her husband. At least to other people's eyes, he'll finally belong here. Today, for 76 new citizens, a proud moment. Their passport will soon match that feeling inside that the United States now, too, belongs to them. In Alameda, Jessica Flores, KPIX5.